show you how great I am. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I drop that heat. Now, the main event on the first zone card was Jesse Vargas versus Tomas DeLorme, um, it ended up being a draw, and it was a really good fight, like a good fight. Um, between two guys that really needed the victory, and it ended up being a draw. Now, this fight in this card was overshadowed by a couple of things. Number one, Eddie Hearn is just not getting too much support here in the States. Um, people in the States not really appreciating how he's approaching this whole uh, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua thing. He has interviews out here where he's really, you know, really conflicting his own words and opinions on that situation so people in the states just really not vibing with eddie hearn right now so it's just they not going to support anything that he does until they till he gets that anthony joshua deontay wilder situation straightened out that's number one number two the conor mcgregor khabib fight was that night and just a lot of people's energy was with that fight that was one of the biggest uh cards in ufc history and more than likely if you're a boxing fan and you're probably an MMA fan and a UFC fan as well. So they had to battle against that as well. And Jesse Vargas and Tomas DeLorme just doesn't jump off the page. It just doesn't jump off the page. It doesn't make you want to go in the house or go on your phone and say, oh, I got to watch that Jesse Vargas, Tomas DeLorme fight. So they was battling that as well. I'm glad that they both got the opportunity to be in a main event especially for jesse vargas to headline a main event but he really dropped the ball like he really really dropped the ball missed a golden opportunity in this fight against tomas lorme and to add insult to injury he actually he lost the fight in the last round like if he wouldn't have got knocked down in the 12th and final round then he would have won a, a majority decision but it ended up being a majority draw because he got knocked down in the 12th round. Um, Tomas DeLorme fought well. He fought a lot better than I expected. He showed some grit. He showed some heart, but he also showed the same flaw that he always has. And that's when he gets into exchanges, he gets into exchanges with his chin straight up and it gets him in trouble every single time. And Tomas DeLorme, he was looking good when he fought uh, Terrence Crawford. First three, four rounds, he won the first three, four rounds. He was up on the cards. And he got caught in the exchange with his chin straight up. And Terrence Crawford went in and, and got him up out of there. But people are trying to lobby for Jesse Vargas to be a contender versus a gatekeeper. But history tells you a lot about a person jesse vargas has been given various opportunities to prove that he's not a gatekeeper he's been given numerous opportunities to prove that he's upper echelon and he just hasn't taken advantage and it's been throughout his career he got a shot at tim bradley got swept basically except for the last round he faced manny pacquiao he lost eight four nine three he faced Adrian Broner. Now, depending on who you ask, some people might have thought that Jesse Vargas won that fight. But Jesse Vargas faded pretty much after the fifth round. And Adrian Broner dominated the second half of that fight. That was another opportunity for him, and it ended up being a draw. And then they give him a headline on a DAZN card against Tomas DeLorme. Tomas DeLorme's not even signed with DAZN. So they was basically throwing him an alley-oop. And he couldn't dunk it. He couldn't dunk it at the end of the day. He ended up getting a majority draw against Tomas DeLorme, which screwed up everybody's plans because they were trying to line up Jesse Vargas versus Sean Porter. But once again, the the boxing gods are looking out for Jesse Vargas because he has been given an IBF eliminator opportunity. And if he decides to take it, 
the winner of that fight will get a, a fight with Earl Spence. So just the boxing guys want for Jesse Vargas to have a title fight at the end of the day. And by hook or by crook, they're going to make sure he get a title fight. So if he decides to take this IBF uh, title eliminator, then he's going to have to win that fight because uh, I don't know how many more chances you can get to prove that you're above average and you belong in the conversation with the, the big names at the welterweight division. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.